hi now I am going to explain you about a few more commands like uh, spline vectors R vectors fillet and trim then offset and then mirror okay why we want the spline vectors because already there is an object has been created using spline vectors if you want to make it more smooth with uh, splines, we can use uh, this uh, spline vectors. Now it's already uh, uh, a spline means a smooth polyline that is Bezier curve I am talking about. When we go to node editing, you can see that already this one has number of smooth, smooth, smooth line. So if you want to make it more smooth with the spline, it will again divide it into small, small. A spline segment B B circle segments and then uh, it make it more smoother okay that for uh, only this uh, uh, spline vector command is there if you click it uh, here template will come in this uh, you can see that if you want to ignore the straight span uh, that is straight length we don't want to uh, we don't want to preserve everything we want to make smooth so you can see there is already Bezier 12 Bezier curves are there inside this. So we divided, uh, if we apply once again, a smooth polyline, SP line, see. So you can see that the number becomes 22. The Bezier curves become, became 22, that it becomes more smooth, smoother. Now you can see from uh, just going to the node editing also, you can see that. Now you see that nodes become very very closer no so that uh, that's what we uh, call as every small segment is divided into uh, small small smooth polylines okay then other uh, option is available is that we can we can make this into small small arcs and uh, and can make this curve this 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 also made with a small small arc so for that we have this command arc fit vectors if you click this this command this will come so in this uh, you can see this all 12 bezier curves are there so if we fit try to fit with arc so all bezier curves become small small arcs 29 bezier curves was the bezier were there or it becomes 29 arcs so the arc you know the property of arc here again you can go to the uh, then you can check that check this you can see that all small small segment becomes arc so from this one node to the another node it became an arc okay so arc is not a smooth continue uh, continued line but it, it becomes like this small 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 arc it becomes with, uh, the curve is constructed with small small arcs that is the speciality Okay, now we will see the fillet command and different kinds of options are available. In fillet, arc, whatever the radius, we can give here, 2 or 1, whatever, it's depend. And uh, the, in the first option, you have to just click, it's okay, that arc, of one. if it is, we are given 2 means, it will be more, bigger, you will get big, bigger, bigger radius here, okay. So same way we can also create dog bonds type like if you want to create this and this and this and this okay this is a dog bond type for the same radius if you are increasing more radius it may not come or some limitation will be there but we have to see that the radius value is suitable to this size and T bond T bond type is that it also if you want to create see I I clicked this side first then this side so it has created to this side where I clicked first that side if I want this side I will click here first then this side so it will be created like this so we can also create it another way also like that if I am clicking here first time and the second here means it will be formed from this side now let me see if there is space to form no it is not enough to create here this side so i am just creating this side okay control is set control is set. if i am reducing the radius then i will try this side this side 
came okay and decide decide so both came on the top okay so we have to give the appropriate dimension then ex external arc that is outside one arc will be created like this see this is the uh, one other type of filleting and uh, one more is that extended or trim intersection type because this will extend and join see i'm just clicking here and this one this got extended and uh, joined and there is no trimming because both side have a lesser length so it just joined here if you, i am giving the same command this will extend and touch here and this portion will get trimmed so just see see so that is extend and trim both together it will be happening so this is the some of the fillet command all the uh, fillet command is finished here okay you can try it now we will see uh, the uh, trim trim vectors trim is also uh, just uh, to cut no okay if i am uh, giving uh, this trim means it will just like this trimming okay and when while trimming it is not getting joined so if you are doing auto joint then this two portions now i trimmed this but this is separate no this and this becomes sub this is separate only but if i want to uh, one side trim it this and this will get joined like that so for that what uh, this option auto auto join i have to keep it checked and click it and click this one so what happened let us see see this got joined so whatever is touching everything got automatically get connected joined so this is the trim option available so next uh, what we will see is that we will see the offset command for that we can keep uh, one okay object all other things we will delete so if you want to offset this one there is, there is an offset command and how many how much distance we want to offset we can give that much of distance like 3 there is outward inward and both sides it can get offset at. and in the corner the strategy is that it can be radius to one or stamford one or sharp one you can select any of this from these three any of one you can select and uh, uh, in bottom delete original object means once we i offset one thing now uh, the original will be getting deleted and selection also goes to the uh, new offsetted one uh, interactive offsetting uh, disabled okay no problem so this one uh, we will see here one by one okay uh, this three offset I, I will do out outside and we want a sharp corner outside and offset okay it's outside if you want inside because here select resulting object so automatically the resulting uh, offset has got selected if we, I have given deleted means this object would have deleted okay so like this we can do invert also invoice also one the invert the same apply is came inside okay so this way we can if both sides if you want both sides also it will be creating if you click one uh, okay this one we will select we will give one minimum uh, both sides and, uh, we apply so both side it created one number So the offsetting here the object creating okay then you can offset it while offsetting you can use the option delete original vectors that means what will happen is that if you are giving a distance of 5 mm or 2 mm to offset so the original this thing will go off delete the original okay then if you are un uh, undoing it what will happen the original vector will remain here and here select resulting offset we have written so what happening is that the new object will be selected automatically and one more option is there is disable interactive offsetting is option is there this is just to prevent us from offsetting using the cursor see we have an option like this here see i can just pull it and just give an offset some value so this this i can disable 
if I am uh, uh, ticking the box C like this I, with the cursor itself I can create an offset this will you no know, accidentally we uh, we we will make the changes you now automatically just unknowingly if you are pulling uh, the vector automatically one vector also offset vector will be created to prevent that we can disable this thing so after doing that one we try to do it, nothing will harm new objects will not be created see only move, it will move nothing new offset will not be created okay so this is uh, this is why the uh, disable interactive option is there so that's that's also clear now okay now next we will go to mirror mirror options so mirror how we will mirror objects so we will take one object suppose we take this star so i will mirror it create mirror option there is this is the options available for mirror one uh, top means exactly on the top it will come so okay right left means it will go outside so right it will take then bottom okay like this we can create then other than this we can also use a line to uh, mirror also over the model like suppose we have this thing okay, shift so we have this one delete okay if you are doing over model means what will happen select that is select this okay our model will it, it will be exactly this model space the center of the model space it will take as the reference line and mirror it now across the model right side uh, see like this it will be mirroring so if you have some line uh, existing line so i will give this line so we can use this line also to mirror in in selected line so that case we can create a, no okay so in that case we can select shift and this also then select vector so it will be uh, mirroring so copy the original objects is copied if you don't want copy means only one object will come and if you want to uh, if you want to copy uh, the, both the sides object from and if you want to join the mirror vectors we can join so this uh, this is the mirror option